G'day guys, welcome back. I'm back to a placemat pour today. I've only got two left, this one and one other one. So I'm going to do my placemat and my matching coaster today on my little cake spinner, cake turntable thingy. This is a 40 centimeter, 16 inch um, placemat. It's, it's timber. I just get them from Kmart, but I'm sure you could get them from hardware stores, Amazon, lots of places. Just search um, timber rounds. Now I've got my, these are all my colours um, made up already in the, in the Joe Sonia's. But today I'm going to go purple and turquoise. I've had a few requests for purple and turquoise. So purple, black, uh, like a bluey turquoise, silver for the metallic, and then the dioxazine purple and aqua. Give them a little bit of a shake. So those are the colours I'm doing today. But those are just others that I've got pre-mixed and ready to go. I think my last one I'm going to do reds because I haven't done much in the way of red. So maybe red, black, silver for my last one. And hopefully I won't get too much pink. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get going, shall we? Hopefully I don't have to go more than once. Just, oh, you can hardly see that now. It's covered in paint. Uh, British Paints Interior Wall Low Sheen Paint. And I just put this little cap on the top. Makes it easy to, to pour with. Alrighty. I haven't done one of these for over a week. I've been doing other things. But I thought I'd better get them done so that I can resin them all together. How long do you have to wait? I'm, I've never really resined. How long do you have to wait before I can resin these? A few weeks? Mm, I don't know. A few weeks. See, some of them I did a few weeks ago. So I can do those first, but obviously I, this one's going to have to wait. So I thought I'd better get a wriggle on so that I can get them all done together. Um, now I'm just going to take the nozzles off so I can pour. Actually, I'd do the nozzles on all of them first. Hey, I should have done that beforehand. I won't do the black though because I'll just dribble the black on. <clears throat> okay, so this is the lighter purple as opposed to the dioxazine purple. So I'll put that one on first. So these have all been mixed with my pouring medium which is the British Paints untinted wall paint. So not white, it's just untinted. And if you haven't been following this series of mine, the, the, each color has to have black and a metallic and then whatever colors I choose to put in as well. So each one's been a little bit different, different colors. Here comes my silver. So yeah, they've all been mixed with um, the pouring medium, which is my um, uncolored, untinted base paint. Um, three three parts of that, and then one part Joe Sonia's pouring medium. Uh, sorry, Joe Sonia's gloss varnish. See, it's so long since I've talked about it, I can't even remember. To one part polycrylic. You don't have to have polycrylic. I just had some lying around, so I thought I would use it. Um, and I wanted my mix a little bit thinner than what um, others use. So I thought, I wonder if I can just add a little bit of polycrylic. I don't like adding water. I find that the water makes it split or, or flocculate. Right. Um, now... Remember what I said last time, your puddle needs to be a third of the side. So a third there, a third there, a third there. I could probably even go a little bit bigger, you know, with that puddle. You want to make sure that you've got enough paint. To, um, to get to your edges. Otherwise you have to spin too much. There we go. And I like to drizzle like that so you can see other colours underneath. If you just do block puddles, you, you don't see other colours coming through. 
So that's what I like to do. So I'm going to put my puddle on in a minute and I'm going to use my blower. <clears throat> it's only a thousand watts, so it's not as strong as a hairdryer, so it hopefully pushes the white over nicely. And my cell activator or CA is three parts Australian Floetrol to one part of titanium white. And I do about a 20 centimeter size. <clears throat> That's Australian 20 centimeter. Uh, sorry, 20 cent coin, not a 20 cent coin. All right, let's go straight down and then out. Push it very lightly over the top of your colors, not too hard. You're gonna break all your lacing. Go really gently. As soon as you see your lacing appear, then stop. Quite a bit of white in the middle there, but I can't blow any more. Otherwise, I'm going to disrupt all that lacing. So that looks pretty good. Uh, the only issue I have is this area here. This is all going to spin off and that's not going to. So I need to do something about that. And what I'm going to do is use my little blower just to, just to open that area up a little bit. If I can. I'm not expecting any lacing in it. I just want it to have some color on it for when I spin. All right, it opened up a little bit. Now, when you're spinning, don't pick this up and tilt it, okay? Because the area in the middle is stuck down and all it's gonna do is make your cells all wobbly and wonky around that stuck down middle. So don't do it, just spin. That's what the spin is for. No, I'm not going to get anything under there. That's okay. That white will um, spread out. Those colours are looking amazing, you guys. Let's do this. I love that first bit of white that pops out like that. It's like an umbrella. Oh, so pretty. See that area there that when I tried to blow out with my little blower, that's what I said. I have to be careful that I can, you know, spread that purple around. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Let's go the other way. <laughs> that was terrible, Julie, trying to spin with your left hand. <clears throat> I'm still getting paint off it though. Just want that edge to go over. I mean, I might not be able to get all of it. See that there? That's the problem I have with not covering the whole thing properly with white is you, you get that. But... You know, as I said, it's been like two weeks since I've done one of these. I forget how to do them if I don't do them a lot. Um, I could probably go again. I'm not going to be able to get all of that off, but I really, really love the rest of it. I wonder if I can move it now. See, I can move it now because I've... No, it's still it's starting to get wobbly. So if you're not. It's not a good idea. Let's go again. Spin a little bit more of that rainbow edge off, but I don't think I'm going to get all of it off. A little bit there still so you have to decide whether or not you're happy with having that there and leaving it or spinning again and then maybe over stretching all your lacing so that's really pretty see the the cells that pop up in the middle of the white if you don't get spinning straight away if you let them grow too much they get really big like this like that one which isn't that attractive but I'm gonna leave it like that I'm, I'm really happy with that Let's just wipe the paint off the edge. So I need to move on to my little post now, my little matching one. I am tempted to just go one more time just to get that line off the bottom because everything is going that way and then that's going that way. 
Let's just go one more time, eh? I don't know if there's enough paint left on there. If I'd made my puddle bigger to begin with, I wouldn't be having this, this issue. I wouldn't have that problem if I'd made my puddle bigger. So it's probably just under a third of the size of my timber. So I can live with that. Those little lines are gone. So that is good. Right, um, I'm just gonna pause the video and get ready for my next one and then I'll bring you back down again. It's pretty, hey, love those colors. Zoom you in so you can have a little look there. Hey, how pretty is that? Very happy with that one. Right, I swapped over to my little guy. Put some double-sided tape just on the bottom of that to help it stick. I've got some double-sided tape there. Well, it's actually masking tape just folded in into three. Stick that down. Get my grubby glove back on. All right, I've got some pillow paint in here as well. It's just a little bit easier to pour out when I'm doing a little guy like this. a little tiny cake spinner that I get on eBay. They're only a few dollars. Whoa, there's a blobby bit. It's the only issue I find with putting the paint in these squeeze bottles. I do sometimes get blobby bits. I don't know why. Hopefully that's okay. I'm going to put another blob on top. Like it's got a good seal and everything, so I don't know why, but if I get blobs, it's from those bottles for some reason. Okay, so now I only need a tiny little bit of paint, so I'll put the nozzles back on. Just have a, a little blob. Now, we still need a third of the diameter filled with puddle, so still need a decent amount, but not, not too much. It's really hard to get a little bit of everything on there. I will try. Where are you going? Don't go off. Okay, a bit of silver. Silver doesn't show up a lot, but once it dries, it just gives it that little bit of a sparkle. A bit more dark this time. And I'm only going to do one layer because you know there's already a third, a third. So we've got plenty. Um, maybe just a tiny little bit of this blue, a tiny little bit of the light purple because the light purple is all on the bottom now and you probably can't even see it. So just a little drizzle of the light purple. Now I'm going with my little barbecue fan blower because obviously the, the big guy is way too strong and would just annihilate that it would just go everywhere so no point using it if you're using a small piece use a small blower if you're using a huge canvas well yeah use your strong hair dryer but if you're only using a small piece use a small thing now this only needs about a five cent piece size about that that's all you need all right straight down and gently push that white to the edges I like using this little guy. He's easy to manage. I don't have to worry about pushing my paint too much. It's just easy to use. Okay. There we go. Isn't he a good little boy? He does such a good job. If you haven't already got yourself one of those, grab one. But they're only good if you're doing these little ones, okay? They're no good if you're doing a big piece. You'll just be there forever. You need to have a little bit more power to blow that white over. This is the best. If you're doing something like a Dutch pour, then yeah, go for your hairdryer, which, you know, is probably 2,000 watts. This is 1,000. 
Right, now I'm not going to wait too long before, before the uh, middle will overstretch. And I always get this white section here because I can't blow properly through there. What if I can tilt a little bit now and get some of that off the bottom. If it looks as if I'm going to be going too wobbly, I'll leave it. Now, let's see if I can do another spin. Trying to get some of that white to go off, just that little blob there off the bottom. It's nearly gone. <laughs> My bit of paper keeps moving. Oh, and I've got nothing, nothing to hold on to. It's not as easy to use, this little guy. All right, what do we think? <clears throat> yeah, as I said, I always get that bit of white because as I'm blowing like around, I come back here and I can't get too close uh, otherwise I'll disrupt my my lacing but I'm gonna leave it like that Woo one for one that's um amazing for me <clears throat> or maybe I'm just not being that picky today no it's 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 good it really is I'm happy with that let's lift him up He's stuck down Oh, there we go. Really pretty. Got all those colours in. Oh my gosh, the tape's stuck to the bottom. And we're going to get the tape off now. There we go. Alright, I'll put him over here next to his mummy. I'm going to have a look at them in a minute. I'll just get these grubby gloves off. And I can move that away. And then what I do is I fold this up. Because I can't put my big cake spinner back on there. It's going to get covered in paint. So then I can just throw this out. And voila, my area is still clean for my big cake spinner. So that's, that's what I do. So But I've got one more to do. Uh, one more placemat to do. And then... Um, I'm done with the placemat set. Right. What do you think? They match nicely, don't they? They sure do. Really happy with them. Gorgeous. Right, let's go in for a close-up. Just showing a little bit lighter. And um, oh, there we go. That's true colour. I don't know whether it'll stay like that or not. Always goes a little bit lighter through my screen, but I can change the colour on the screen. But when I put my photo up, you'll see the true colour. I match it as close as possible. It's got a gorgeous lacing right out to the edges. There's the middle. I'm trying to get that colour back again. There we go. And over here, let's look at the little guy. Really pretty. Lacing. Oh, look at that. That white is um, scrunched up a little bit. That white that I didn't like. You know how it was quite big, but the lacing is kind of pushed into it, so you can hardly see it now. I mean, you can still see it, but it just looks like normal lacing which is really nice. So there we go. There's our gorgeous set of two. And I've only got one left to do. So yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it now, but you won't see it for a little while yet. I think I'm gonna do reds with black and silver. See how we go with that one. Alright, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe. Signing out from isolation here on Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.